Hello, Hugo. How are you doing today? Good. And you, Dan? I'm doing very good. I don't have a Tim Hortons coffee with me today, which makes me a little bit sad. I might go get one after we're done with this, though. Do you? Yeah, great. Do you want one? Get a beaver tail? No, I don't. Okay. Get a beaver tail while you're at it. <laughs> hey, audience. Uh, we are here today to bring you the results of uh, the second express entry draw of the week. Uh, I am Dane, one of the content developers at Moving to Canada, and joining me today is... Hugo, I'm Dane's colleague here at Moving to Canada. Also the editor of Moving to Canada. Cool. What a cool it's title. Uh, uh, so, Hugo, was today's Express Entry Draw a surprise? Were we surprised that this happened? I'm going to say no. Uh, there has been a bit of a trend developing. Um, typically, when a PNP-specific draw happens on a Wednesday, it's followed on a Thursday by a Canadian Experience class-specific draw, and this week was no exception. So... Yeah, it was not a surprise. I think you and I both rolled out of bed this morning expecting to get this news. And uh, here we are. We did. It. And so. let me tell you, audience, there's no better feeling than uh, rolling out of bed and immediately thinking of uh, Canadian immigration data. It keeps me going. Gives me gives me that drive. It's like a Tim Hortons coffee, but all natural, baby. So I pulled up. <laughs> well, uh, let me just say, 3,300 people rolled out of bed this morning, and already they're getting their invitation. So that's that's good news for them. That's true. So we're just two additional people keeping keeping track of it. 3,300 people. It's a lot of people and their family that's members. A, that is a lot of people. That's uh, 3,299 more friends than I've got. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let's jump into the draw results. I pulled open our express entry draw uh, page on the Moving to Canada website. There's a link to this in the description of the video, so you can check that out if you want to read this for yourselves. But uh, we've got all the details on today's draw. It was uh, a Canadian experience class specific draw, as Hugo mentioned. 3,300 invitations to apply were issued. And as you can see on this web page here, the minimum CRS score cutoff was 454 points. Uh, so that is actually a nine point jump from the last CEC specific draw, which happened four weeks ago uh, in late July. So it's it's uh, jumped up by nine points. So what we kind of wanted to cover today was uh, possible reasons why we're seeing that, uh, that CRS score cutoff increase uh, for these CEC draws. Uh, if you remember, let's go do a quick recap of where CEC has been at for the year. Uh, after COVID hit in early March, we had all of the express entry draws for about three or four months uh, restricted to PNPs or CEC candidates. Over that time, the CRS score cutoff for CEC candidates continued to fall significantly down to a low point of 431 points at the end of June. Uh, since then, we've seen that CRS score increase uh, there were four weeks between the one at the end of the draw at the end of June and the draw at the end of July. The score increased by 14 points from 431 to 445. And we've just seen another four week gap and it's gone up by another nine points. Hugo, can you tell our audience a couple of reasons why that might be happening? Yeah. So as you kind of uh, suggested there, the gaps between these CEC specific draws over the last couple of months have been greater than they were for the previous couple of months. So in the spring, these CEC specific draws were typically happening every two weeks, I believe. Uh, and now there's typically a four week gap between them. Um, in addition, people in the pool have had an opportunity to increase their score. More language test centers are open in Canada, for example. And a lot of these CEC candidates, as you'd expect, are in Canada. Um, this allows more people to enter the pool um and yeah that's probably why we've seen the score increase for those two reasons would be contributing factors towards the score having increased over the last couple of months from that 431 you mentioned in june to 454 today yeah. and i've got the recent draw results pulled up right here so people can take a look at that uh, again the links in the description if you want to uh walk through that yourself uh but uh the other factor, of course, that, that influences the CRS score cutoff is just the average rate of, you know, 
candidates entering the pool within that competitive range. Uh, it's possible yeah. um, that CEC is just becoming more popular uh, and that there is a higher rate of, of profile submission regardless of, of the ability for more candidates to receive their, their documents now that, you know, uh, document processing is sort of resuming at a higher rate in Canada. Um, so that's another a variable at play. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the reality is that we we can't <laughs> we can't verify exactly what's going on here. The best we can do is look at this uh, information as it comes out, look at the data and uh, analyze the data to the best of our ability. Um, so one, Thing we talked about in yesterday's video that I want to take a chance to plug today. Uh, we are going to be uh, taking an audience question in our next Express Entry Draw video. Uh, Hugo, when should people expect the next Express Entry Draw to happen? Uh, probably in 13 days, I believe. Uh, I don't know what. Today is the 20th of August, so uh, my math isn't good. Maybe that's the 2nd of September. Second, third, some I, I don't so. know. I I don't know the date. But about it'll be the first the first Wednesday of September, we'll say that. Um and yeah, we don't know yet whether that will be all all programs or whether it will be program specific. Yeah. Um there is a lot of hope out there that it might be all program because uh there have been two uh federal uh, all program federal skill worker candidates. Uh I think they're on July eighth and August fifth. And if they were to follow that four week gap, it would be the first week, uh, Wednesday in September. Um, so I know there's a lot of candidates in the pool who are hopeful um, that that would happen. So we'll, we'll see what, what happens then. And uh, yeah, there's, there's thousands of people around the world who are itching at the opportunity to make an application, uh, who are sitting in the competitive range uh, deep into the 400s uh, and higher. And uh, yeah, I hope that they get an opportunity yeah in the next few months um and for this draw that will likely happen about two weeks from now and again nothing's ever guaranteed with express entry uh ircc could take a break or something uh, hopefully that won't happen uh but uh it's possible but during that video we are going to be answering one of our audience questions uh we're taking questions here on youtube so if you've got a question that you'd like us to do a bit of a deep dive into drop it into the comments uh we'll be going through and picking one question uh, and doing a deep dive next time around uh so i think that about covers it for today not a ton of uh <laughs> immigration news between yesterday and today uh, I do have pulled up here uh, our account page on the Moving to Canada website. I'm going to pop a link uh, to this in the description down below. Uh, as always, we encourage you, if you have not already, to create a Moving to Canada account. You get a ton of free resources, our Getting Started Guide, our uh, resume templates, our immigration roadmaps. Just a ton of cool freebies. Uh, it's totally free. There's It takes a minute, so... Uh, it's definitely worth your time to to head over there and do that now if you haven't already done it. Uh, so I'll pull that away now. Great. Well, thank you again for joining me, Hugo. It's it's a lot more fun for me when you're here. Oh, well, I'm glad to keep you company. Great. You're supposed to say, <laughs> oh, yeah, you too. It's a good time with you. No. Yeah. Okay. No. Uh, so Hugh and I have some stuff to work out. So I'm going to end this video now and we're going to have a, a meeting with HR, but I'll see you all uh, next time we've got a draw that comes through. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us. Bye-bye.